Hi guys, welcome to Music Business Today, where we give you the latest and greatest in music business news. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about John Legend's new video, a little bit about the whole divorce issue that's going on with Jack White right now and his soon-to-be ex-wife, and then a little bit about what's going on in the digital music news today. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Music Business Today. I am Hannah Renee. And I'm Kane Harrison. And we are going to start off with some John Legend news. Mm -hmm. um, he's back and he is has just released one of his film clips, which we'll uh, put a link up to. But Hannah and I just watched it off air and it's incredibly saucy, Hannah. It's it's very saucy. It is, but it's, it's very don't artistic. Don't watch it with your children. No, it's very artistic at the same um, time. Yeah, it's, I don't feel like it's offensive no. in the way that it's done at all. It's no. very beautiful, very artistic. Very multicultural. There's a lot of skin. There is a lot of skin, but all combined <laughs> together, and it's kind of really cool because they yeah. actually look like like a sculpture. And there's yeah. kind of like paint and all this sort of stuff running around them, and then they mm -hmm. kind of explode, and then they sort of come back don't together. Don't give away the but, video. Well, they still need, I mean, I'd never heard the song. They can still get on and see the song, but they need to get on and see the video. It's pretty cool. But um, it was directed by Daniel Sandwald, who mm -hmm. I hadn't heard of really before. I jumped on and had a look at some of his other stuff. And even his website is incredibly artsy, so you can see where those influences come yeah. from. Um, he also has his, uh, John Legend this is, has his album coming out, which is called Love in the Future, which arrives on September 2nd. So this is a really cool I song. Say. I didn't mind it. Like, um, no, it was great. Yeah, it's kind of uh, kind of moody, but kind of clubby at the same time. There's a, I can see how they come up with I can see someone the, adding dubstep to it. Yeah, but I can absolutely <laughs> see how they come up with the film clip because it's yeah. kind of is kind of sexy and sultry and it's, it's, it's hot. Cool. It I'm not going to deny it. It's hot. For sure. Tell me about the biggest news in Nashville right now. Well, everyone knows Jack White and his wife, well, soon to be ex wife, have been separated for a while. I think since 2011, I believe, is when they first said that they were getting a divorce. But now things are starting to get a little heated between the two of them. Uh, there was actually a restraining order that just got issued against Jack White by his wife. She said that she felt like he was an endangerment to her and the children they yeah, for themselves. Yeah, it's kind of weird. This is really big news in Nashville right now, obviously, because mm -hmm. Jack White yeah. is smack bang in the center of Nashville and everyone's very proud to have Jack White in Nashville because yeah. he's such an icon in the music industry. Um, but that also comes with, um, you know, the media that follows that around a little bit, unfortunately. Yeah. And just reading through, I mean, we've got a, we've got a lot to cover on this particular story because it is so important in Nashville. But mm. um, just reading through some of the stuff, it does seem like, and we are talking about off air, that it's like a lawyer's gotten involved, sort of thing, and things have just yeah, sort of, the media and they sort of pit beat one up. one against the other. I know, oh, well, yeah. you should do this, and it just. Yeah. And there are kids at stake. This is the big thing as yeah, well. Yeah, so, five and seven, right? And they're, yeah, and they've, um, his wife is fighting for sole custody of the children. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine that in this sort of um, circumstance, if for some reason you had a restraining order against you, you wouldn't look very good in the eyes of the courts if you were trying yeah. to get custody or joint custody of your children. I imagine that, um, and I I don't know a lot about the American laws, of course, mm -hmm. but if you have a restraining order against you, chances are you are seen as an unfit parent and that, yeah. that you will you know, not well, be able to see your children. And with the restraining order, the only contact he's allowed to have with her is actually through email. And so that actually uh. leads us on to the next thing where some of the emails that he's been sending back and forth to his wife have gotten leaked. Now, of course, it's not telling us her side of the email or what she may or may not have said in response. Um, but it definitely, you know, highlights that he goes on to call uh, the frontman for the Black Keys an a-hole, uh, says he doesn't want his kids going to the same school with his kids because he's basically just copied his music. And it is, and the, um, the Black Keys are in Nashville and, as well. Yeah, um, they are. So, and and there I really are, enjoy the Black Keys. So 100%. I do see insane. some similarities mm -hmm. between some of the music that gets made, yeah. but Jack White is sort of stating that um, he... That, the Black Keys have played off, you know, he, Jack White's broken this ground and the Black Keys are kind of coming kinda in and just in away they go. But his wife away. wanted to send the uh, the children to the same schools as the Black Keys guys and, and Jack White was just basically stating that I don't want to have to spend the next 12 years or whatever the kids are going to be in having school. To sit next having to, to sit them. next to them, having them, you know, on my yeah. coattails. But... Um, 
It's just so unfortunate. I mean, I know that we're talking yeah. about this and honestly, I don't really like this presenting this sort of news because of the fact that, you know, this yeah. hearsay, well, he said, she said, TMZ's got a hold of this, which they do. it's personal life. It like, is. I feel bad enough for him. You're getting a divorce. <clears throat> That's rough enough. And now it has to be in the public spotlight. Yeah. And I mean, his wife is a singer-songwriter and mm. ex-model and all those yeah. sorts of things too, but he's obviously in the spotlight so much. I think thankfully for them though, he is in Nashville where I think if you're in an LA or anything like that, it, it would could be so much worse. It could be so it much really worse. But be. generally speaking for the people that aren't in Nashville that do watch this, um, a lot of celebrities flock to Nashville for the very fact that we they really don't care that they're celebrities. Yeah, right. <laughs> so very often you'll see them in, in you know a shopping complex or having a coffee or something like that yep. and just couldn't care less. And so um, it's kind of been a Nashville thing in the last little while too in that yeah. people from LA have started to come to Nashville to, to try and, you know, beat that fact up a little bit mm -hmm. more, but everyone's trying to push them away. So hopefully this yeah. sort of, he gets to look after his personal life, gets it all in order, and we can sort of let them just go about their business like the Nashvillians yeah. do well, so well. Heard, you know, I had friends like run into him at the grocery store and stuff, mm -hmm. and they're like, he is one of the nicest people I've ever met. Like, yeah. you know, you look at him, you recognize them, he'll just like walk over, introduce himself. Hi, I'm Jack White, nice to meet you. Yeah. Hope you're having a good day. Like, he doesn't have to do that. No, and but as we said right off the bat, I think that in every case, um, you know, there's always two people who get in the middle and that's usually attorneys yeah. and then mm -hmm. obviously being in the celebrity spotlight everything sort of gets thrust into the media so yeah. you know hopefully it sounds like um, Brian our producer was telling us off air that when they actually had a divorce they threw a divorce party so it was pretty amicable and I guess they were going on their well, separate ways but things have gotten a bit rough. And here in uh, he actually fired back a response after the restraining order was issued and on May 19th of this year Basically, he says that she had written to him and said, you're an amazing father. I'm so glad we had these kids together. You know, but then she's gone and gotten a restraining order against yeah. him saying that he's unfit. So I, there's just a lot of... Yeah, well, like I said, I think it does said, sound like... Said, yeah, there's a lot of middlemen in this. And there's mm -hmm. also, as we know, snippets of information get leaked to the media and then everyone draws their conclusions on that. Yep. And usually it goes one we'll way or the other. And um, more often than not, you know... Um, we side with the mother, which is is fine as well. But uh, yeah. I think that but not it will not right. be the last we hear of it. And hopefully, at least, um, we probably know that they're not going to get back together, but hopefully they have mm -hmm. some sort of family unit and we just leave them alone. But, yeah, um, I hope it all resolves peacefully. Yeah, some more actually really possible. tragic news from a music festival, which uh, we just seem to re report way too often on this sort of stuff. And um, <laughs> Camp Festival, there was an explosion, which is in England, by the way. It's in a beautiful setting. It's like... Mm -hmm. If you've ever seen, you would have seen um, on all kinds of music videos, they go to a place called Slane Castle, mm -hmm. which is just brilliant. It's very much like that. It's another castle and they hold a music festival there. And uh, it has been reported that a gas bottle exploded inside someone's tent. And, yep. um, you know, one woman was, they said, had life-changing injuries and she was airlifted away. Another guy was seriously injured and taken to a local mm -hmm. hospital. But um, gas explosions... Yeah. Are not well, she, good. I guess, was using like a gas cooker yeah. and it was leaking, and then a gas cooker in like the tent next to those or something mm -hmm. caused it to catch on fire yeah. and explode. Like 20% of the tent that it was in was completely destroyed, and then part of the other tent was actually kind of well. I up. imagine it just would have been horrific. Gas, like, literally, um, you know. Yeah, it's so explosive that it just goes up just and then kind of goes away. Miss, but I think gas, it. especially that bottled stuff, it explodes to a thousand times its size. So, I mean, it's, it's so, so compressed. And yeah, and also, you know, it's when they're in campgrounds, yeah. it's just going to leak around. So. Well, and everyone else around responded really quickly, mm -hmm. like getting their fire extinguishers and stuff to put out the flame. And they said it was actually really, you know, invaluable what they did because yeah. they actually put cooling water on the victims to help stop the burning and stuff. So. I imagine it's pretty horrific, as they say. All they yeah. reported was life-changing injuries, but, <clears throat> excuse me. But um, it was, by all reports, you know, generally it is a great festival to go to. As I said, it's absolute, the grounds are absolutely beautiful at this mm -hmm. castle. And um, they, the festival organizers had reported that, that you know, it was a tragic yeah. accident and that, you know, that for the camp, um, for people who are camping at those festivals all around the world need to just take a little bit just more care. Just be more aware yeah. of what's going on. Um, well, <clears throat> here's a question for you guys. Album sales through Groupon. Desperate or smart move for the artist? Um, yeah. There's actually been Ciara, 
I believe, Ciara. Ciara, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, she has recently put up a two-part special album for sale on Groupon, and some people <laughs> are kind of giving her backlash for it, saying it's decreasing, you know, the value of her music by putting it on this site where they, you know, put stuff that no one wants for sale is basically what they're saying, which I haven't really had that experience with Groupon. I find like... You can get some good stuff on there. Yeah, but I just think that you... I mean, Groupon is... I can understand why they've gone this route because Groupon is so big now and everyone wants to have savings, so put yeah. yourself on any platform you can. This is the most amazing part for me, is that Sierra got on Groupon, but Sony Music jumped on Groupon as well, and they yeah, were selling true. Justin Timberlake's The 2020 Experience um, mm -hmm. and uh, a Buddy Guy album as well. But... <laughs> Down the bottom of this report, it tells us the revenue that has followed. It's and like I mean, when you think about thing. Justin Timberlake and Sierra, you think multi-million dollars sales, record sales going through the roof. Sierra's Groupon sales um, cite that 150 <laughs> copies were bought, which is around $2,100. And mm. Sony's sales so far are roughly between $600 and $700. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just not worth I it. I think that's selling it at a concert for five minutes. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I, like I said, I can see that it's the idea behind it, but it's just failed yeah. miserably. And yeah. Hannah, tell us why it's failed miserably. They go into a reporter and... Well, yeah, they go up and it says, like, well, here's a quote. It says, you know, find things you don't want at a great price. And, you know, you're devaluing your own music. It's not just in price, but also in style. Um, and then they're also saying, you know, people say, well, but artists give away their music for free. So what about that whole idea? And they're I mean, like, well, yeah. you'd rather, you're going to value more a really cool mm -hmm. sweater you get out of a friend's closet than mm -hmm. one that you got on sale at Macy's. I'm like, yeah. I can get what they're saying, but what if your friend bought that really cool sweater at Macy's on sale? Yeah. So there's, you know, the whole... Well, but at the end of the day, from an economic point of view, it's yeah. just not working. It would be different if it was yeah. working and you could sit at home and you'd say, well, I got this sweater from Macy's, yeah. you know, or you made this sweater from Macy's and you sold a billion of them. Well, yeah, that's fantastic, right. but they've well, sold $600 worth. Well, like borderline desperation I think because album sales which is actually our next thing we're gonna start talking about mm -hmm. is uh, they're so down right now like well this is for actually, several weeks solid album Nelson sales report, have been underneath five like million or well, it's five the, billion. It's, in the last two weeks yeah. it's the worst since 1991 for US album sales yeah. um, and it's been close a bunch of times so don't think all of a sudden there's a massive dip but that's not true yeah. it's been close to this for a long long time but um, I think the interesting thing, when I first read this, I didn't say to myself, it's because of digital sales, which I thought that I would have. I actually thought, well, but there isn't a good album out. I haven't heard, like, when you talk about boosting album sales, like, generally people might sell yeah. now 70,000 copies. or It's not like the glory days when people used to sell, you know, hundreds of thousands. Yeah, that top no, tier. it's very but true. when was the last time we had an Adele or... You know, it's someone who's broke through and sold an, like a, an amazing amount of albums. Yeah. The biggest album sales this year were, was JT, and he was early in the year. Yeah. But since that period of time, For we just like haven't had July, someone. July, it's yeah. been so, super low. Um, I mean, I can see that they're definitely saying that people don't buy albums anymore. But here, even though like as a whole album sales are down, it's actually catalog album sales that are down. New album sales, like ones that have just come out within the past mm -hmm. couple months, those are actually up 1.5%, but catalog sales are down 6.2%. Uh, so that's actually bringing, you know, the whole, the whole thing down. down. Mm. Um, but new music is selling and it is still it doing absolutely well. Still it's still is. The catalog sales have gone down from what they usually are. 100%. Um, and as we talk about it all the time, is that mm. the, the way we listen to music, it's changed so much. And the way we buy music, it's changed so much. And yeah. there was a, a great big thing they used to talk about all the time is that now they will not sell albums because everyone buys singles but that seems to be wrong as well so i don't I, think that's true I, I don't think so i think they're just grabbing at stuff but um it will you know be an ongoing saga and we will talk about this a lot as we said it's the main <laughs> thing we talk about always 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 but uh we've talked enough for this episode that's for <laughs> sure um thanks so much guys for joining us you can catch us on you know facebook and all those mm. wonderful things our beautiful talkopolis app which i hope you will have on your iphones yes and that's, you better that's about it huh yeah, that's, Until next time. I can't really think of anything else. Me so. either. All talked out. Have a good day. See you guys. Talkopolis, the social media TV network for your city.